Hey, Pastor Q with another word for the day. Our topic for discussion is biblical principles or money management principles that will greatly bless you. And here's my point number four. Avoid quick and emotional decisions. That's a huge point right there. If you're going to manage your money right for God, you got to avoid making quick and emotional decisions. I've seen this done so much uh, in my life where people just, they get an idea or they get a proposal and they make a quick decision right on the spot. I've listened to several sales presentations and at the end of the sales presentation, they're like, uh, do you want to buy this? And I say to myself, well, can I think about it? Can I can I talk to, you know, someone else about it? Can I pray about it? And and typically they say, no, you got to get it right now in order to get it at this price. So I become kind of leery uh, whenever I encounter those types of uh, presentations because I don't want to make a quick decision. I don't want to make an emotional decision that's going to um, affect my life. And so, so many times, you know, in our culture, we make these quick decisions and it costs us in the long run. So part of managing your money for God is just not making quick decisions. Let me read Proverbs 21, 5. It says, the plans of the diligent lead to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty. So in other words, God is a God of order. He wants you to plan. He wants you to plan ahead. And when you plan, it can save you years of just going around in circles. When you make a hasty decision on the spot, you're going around in circles. When you make a hasty decision in choosing a, a mate or a, a partner, guess what? You keep choosing the wrong mate. What do you keep doing? You keep going around in the same circle, same circle. And so take your time, pray about it, talk to some counselors about it before you make the big decision. Hey, if you agree with this word, type in the comments box. Think before you act. You all be blessed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I check me out tomorrow for another uh, money management principle that's going to greatly bless you. Be blessed.